Um, but here we have a circumstance where educators are potentially going to be fined for uh, encouraging that same kind of dialogue among students and so forth. And someone had asked in the chat here, uh, and there's a, there's a discussion going on about the chilling effect of those fines. So I'd like to pose to all of you this specific question raised by uh, Christy here. She asked, can we maintain the debate when teachers and districts are threatened with fines and revoked funding? We need to play the long game. Totally agree on that. Um, and I think that there's that that educational activism can look different ways. I don't think everybody got to lose their job. I don't think everybody got to lose their paycheck. OK, I, I, I think that some some will and we need those people. So I think I think there's a continuum of educational activism. I think we need our provocateurs. We need our martyrs. We need we need people who are going to be able to engage in that way. But we also all right, we also need our covert activists. We also need our tempered radicals. You know, we need people along the continuum to continue advancing the work in different ways and, and, uh, and pushing each other as we ad advance. And the other point, Sophia, that you just made that, that just really resonates is around the collective action, that no one of us is better as all of us together, that, that as we engage together and we use each other's strengths is, is how we really continue along that path. All right, we also need our covert activists. We also need our tempered radicals. Hmm. Ha, hmm.